One thing that I realized about red velvet cakes is that it's literally only red velvet because you use red dye. <laughs> When someone asked me for an orange velvet cake, I was like, that just totally like opened my mind because I never really liked red velvet cake until I realized it's literally a light chocolate cake. And that sounds amazing to me. It's just the fact that I was so used to red velvet. So if you can make a red velvet cake, you can make a pink velvet and a blue velvet and an orange velvet, and you really don't need a difference in recipes. So I'm gonna show you guys an amazing and very, very simple recipe for blue velvet cake. I'm actually gonna make this in a large batch. So if you guys are into seeing how I would do larger cakes, how I'm like setting it up, I pretty much just quadruple the recipe and make it happen. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so yet. I know some of you haven't because I saw it in the numbers. I saw it in my analytics. Please subscribe to the channel. Press on the notification bell. That will help me so very, 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 very much. Very, very much. It will help me so much. So, so if you really want to support us, the best thing. Hold on. I'm gonna follow through. The best thing you can do is follow through with a like or two. And let's get started. Here are all of the ingredients that I'm gonna use for my delicious blue velvet cake. As you can see, I have loads of eggs. Like I said, I quadrupled this recipe and they are in water so that they get nice and room temperature. I also have both of my babies, my mixers here, and I'm going to First, add the butter. Now, as you can see, I'm using two different attachments. One of the attachments, the one on my blue mixer has a scraper attached to it, and then the other one doesn't. So this is really kind of cool just to see how much a beater attachment with a rubber piece really helps out. I'm doing my typical creaming method of starting off with the butter, letting that mix for about three or four minutes, and then adding in my sugar. And next I'm going to add my eggs one at a time. The bowl on the right definitely needs to be scraped down and I'm going to go ahead and do the same for the bowl on the left also. I felt like this was a competition between old school and new school because the one on the right, even though they're both KitchenAid mixers, that one's like older and my grandmother gave it to me and that was my first mixer and yeah. So we're going to allow for that to mix. I like a nice lengthy mixing just to get everything nice and fluffy. And that right side has to catch up to that left side quick. So now I have my oil and I put a little bit of gel dye in there. This is the Royal Blue Gel Dye by Will. And I put my gel dye in there thinking, okay, it'll all mix together. I'll just add everything in, you know, together. I'm also adding in my cocoa powder. I'm trying to mix everything and I can't really tell if the blue is completely mixing into the oil. We are now turning this into a couture science experiment. So once everything is completely fluffy and pale in color, I'm going to begin to add my oil and cocoa powder and gel dye mixture. Now as you can clearly see, there is no blue in the bowl. No blue in the bowl. There's no blue in the bowl. So it must be at the bottom of the cup. Clearly gel dye and oil does not mix. But we definitely know that cream mixes with everything. Actually, I did half and half. I like to do half and half in my cakes instead of just plain milk. You can definitely use whole milk if you would like. I feel like the more fat, the better. So I always use half and half. If there's an Aquarius out there whose favorite color is not either blue or white or silver, please comment because you're rare. And I just want to know if you're out there. For all of my cakes, I always make cake flour. Now, it's not necessary in this recipe. However, if you want your cake to be nice and light and fluffy, 
try to turn it into a cake flour. I'm going to add my flour about one cup at a time in each bowl and then I'm going to begin my mixer again and look at this cookie monster half and half mixture that this looks so gorgeous. Oh my goodness, look at the swirl. We're gonna add in the milk or the half and half, whatever you decide to use, alternately with the flour. So a little bit of flour, mixing, then some of that liquid, then more flour, mixing, and then more of the liquid, and so on and so forth. Now you do wanna add your gel dye early in the mixing process because you definitely don't want to have to over mix the cake just to get it into a nice blue color. Now this was so much cake batter that I had to use a huge 10 quart pot to put all of it into so that I could combine the two batters and everything would come out the same. For cupcakes, bake these in a 350 degree preheated oven for about 17 minutes. For an eight and nine inch cake, go ahead, preheat your oven at 350 and this will bake for about 25 to 30 minutes. Just keep watch. Make sure that however long you bake your cake, a knife inserted to the center comes out nice and clean. If it's too runny, I just like to put a little piece of foil over the cake so that it doesn't get any browning. So I turned these into blue velvet cupcakes with cream cheese frosting and I also did an anniversary cake, which will be in a separate video. So I hope that this helped you guys out. Couture in a blue velvet cake by Cake Nieces. I do have a video on how I decorated this cake, which was into a 40. Then I put the pictures of the couple onto each cupcake, which I did not get a picture of. So disappointed in myself. Always take pictures of everything that you do. It's your portfolio of work. I am so upset that I did not get that picture. Let me know if you have any questions for me. I will be so happy to answer them. I am always here for you, Cagnistas, always. Once again, please subscribe and share this video with the people that you care about and the ones that you don't care too much about. Because why not? I love you guys so much. Don't you know? Let me know what your favorite cake flavor is down below. And if it's different, then I would love to make it. I'll see you guys soon. Bye, Cake Nieces.